Welcome back in the post game here on Kick 106.7. Jeff Blankman joined right now by one of the seniors on this ball club, uh, Caitlin Bass. And Caitlin, congratulations. A nice 6-1 to one victory here tonight on Pink Out Night. Uh, you pitched the ball game. How did you feel out on the circle? Oh, I felt pretty good. I mean, I haven't really pitched in a while. I didn't pitch last Thursday and only pitched a couple innings on Friday. So, I mean, having not pitched in three four days, I feel pretty good. Do you feel like you had command of your pitches here tonight? Yeah, for the most part I did. I had one inning that was kind of shaky, but other than that, I felt pretty good. Well, one of the things I talked about was your ability to kind of field your own position tonight. Why do you feel like that has been a strength for you over your career? Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, every, all my teammates always joke. They're like, you have cat-like reflexes. I mean, most of the time I don't really know. I just kind of stick my glove out, and I'm lucky enough to have it go in there. Speaking of the defense, talk about the defensive effort of your club behind you tonight. Yeah, we've played a really good defensive game. I mean, I'm not sure. We maybe only had one, maybe two errors, but we made a lot of good plays. We have pretty much all year, so I was really proud of them. Hitting the ball wise, uh, you guys got uh, some early runs, two in the second, two in the third, two in the fourth. How much did that make you more comfortable in the circle tonight about just being able to go out and pitch with the lead? Oh, it definitely makes me more comfortable when we have a lead, and, and that lead just continues to grow. I mean, I just get more confidence, and I usually throw better. Talking right now with uh, Caitlin Bass from Isa County, and Caitlin, uh, tonight a very special night. We certainly can't let you go without talking about this being your senior night, four years uh, of the pink out. Uh, what did this one mean for you? It, I mean, it always means that much more when we can win on Pink Out Night because it's such a big night and we've got a good crowd and it's for such a good cause that we really feel extra pressure to go out and win. Who are you playing tonight's game for? I know all of you girls kind of had somebody that you were going to play the game for. Who are, who are you playing for here tonight? Well, tonight before the game, I caught the first pitch from Linda Schultz. She's the secretary in the high school and she's battling cancer, so I played for her tonight. I tell you what, uh, I tell you what, what an honor and what a great thing that uh, you girls do this year. Tell us, what are some of the memories you're going to take away? I know it's hard to sit back right now probably and think of some, but over the four years, what will be your memories of the Pink Out Night with your Raiders softball teams? I'll definitely just remember, I mean, how I felt every night because, like I said, it's such a big deal and I mean, it just has a great meaning and to see so many people supporting a great cause, it's just, it's, re it's really great. Well, you got stuff written all over you, you got pink things around your eyes here tonight. How much time do you girls put into getting prepared for the game? Oh my gosh, I mean, I got here a little before five and I wasn't decked out until right before we started the game at about seven, so it takes a while. Well, Caitlin, I tell you what, it's been a pleasure getting to cover you for these four years. We appreciate you joining us again. Thanks. Caitlin Bass again.